Hi Twin Flames, welcome back, welcome if you're new. My name's Sophia. Uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love reading. There it is. So let's jump in. <clears throat> What's going on with Taurus? Okay. Okay. Oh. Put that there. Hold on one sec. Okay. <clears throat> so the basis in the subconscious, there's mutual love on both sides. That's good news. So the first card, nine of cups. So what I'm feeling here is, okay, with the moon in Pisces and we're star seeds, so whatever comes out, right, why we get so pulled to the planets? It's like <laughs> the, the, the normies, <laughs> um, soulmates, it does happen like that when Pisces is in the moon, which is even more of the imagination, feely kind of state, which it is. Generally, when it um, comes out of that, it doesn't affect everyone, but we're from the planets, seeds from the stars. So that's why it lingers a bit more. So you could be feeling a bit emotional at this time wanting to go for your wishes and desires but at the same time um your wishes and desires is who yes your person so you're a bit pulled uh between kind of um two worlds i would say um but what's this one so transformation is happening because you're still loving yourself i don't feel that you're actually it's like one in your person but not engaging in that in that kind of whatever before so your person doesn't know just put it that way uh, as usual i said this portal and this flip is to do with the um the change around of the twin flame dynamic so like because generally you don't know so your person doesn't know how you're feeling here now but to me you're still pretty much the same just want to like hoping for your person to come back, but still holding back. I know it's a Nine of Cups, but I don't care. It's like Nine of Cups is selfish. So selfish is not telling someone, really. Do you see? So that's what I'm feeling here. But transform transformation is happening. It's like um, this is releasing the third party, whatever the third party is to you. So it could be work, could be exes, could be babies, mums, uh, obligation, all that kind of thing that your person keeps holding on to over there and coming over to you and then going back to this because it's a belief or a tradition or religion to be in that third party dynamic that's been transformed. Hence the portals. Um, what is this one? I'll have to come back to that. It's like as if this one is very important, but like they're connecting it with this one. It's, I don't know, but maybe you know this, so I'll say it anyway. For some of you, like, that, um, okay, I'm just going to say this. I'm feeling that um, you've done inner work and you might be still completing the inner work. But there's a particular age, 11 to 13, was, I don't know, some kind of event or something happened, right, which was galactic, twin flame, orbs, a, a moment in time or something that you remember. And that time is playing out now. It's like a premonition or, you know, what is it called? Um, gosh. A loop in reality. Um deja vu there's something that's happening here that is making this transformation because that time it's like you felt like an enlightened being you felt different you are different come on you're twin flame starseed but there's something like that that's trans 
of uh, transformation that's making your person be still to understand this connection um, and, and get in enlightenment. It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's the ether. I don't know how to say it. This is energy. This is ether. This is form. This is quantum physics. This is atoms. This is all connecting because of the waves that I'm seeing is connecting to the brain waves of your person, let's just say, to understand this connection more without words. That's what this is, energy and stuff. Some of you might feel that, like I stated, um, uh, that you feel in there's something that's happening, but you have no idea, but you might be connecting those dots. Uh, the hanged man is also nothing happening at the moment. So you don't know what's going on, right? But you're feeling stuff's happening. You're feeling there's a transformation. This is the planets as well. Seven of Cups. It's like uh, underneath you of the Nine of Cups here. This is about, you know you have choices to make, to push things forward. You're making the correct choices. You're working on yourself. Um, once you open up to multi-dimensions, once you open up to your true self, once you're going back to your true self and you're doing the work, you're doing the work, you recognize all the options you have. You're not stuck to one place. You're not stuck to a friend. You're not stuck to friends and family. You can travel the world. This is the options you're opening up to and recognizing that as well. I mean, if you do what I do, you can travel anywhere. I'm looking all over the place where I want to move. And some places is so dirt cheap, so dirt cheap. Obviously, it's got to be in range because of um, Quan. My son wants to live with me, move with me, not live with me. He wants to get his own place, but near me, so he has to come back for the children. But if I, uh, Quan said, "Oh no, I'm staying here and uh, to be where the children are," I can just pick up my laptop and go anywhere. And where I am, I'm kind of like London well expensive how much i pay i can get a, a six bedroom house on uh, um by the sea in plymouth or something like that it's like you're recognizing these options you have which it was all reliant on your person but now you're like oh okay and because you're more thinking about more of you what your wants are this is why this is transformation yeah this is definitely connecting your person to become more wise to think oh well, i've wasted time what am i doing the heart is opening it's from this transformation from childhood. Now, you might not have even felt fairies or something. If you're new, you might have had an event that happened that transformed you. It could have been even abuse, it, it, you know, a negative or positive. There's something that you're happening. For example, I state, uh, I've had my, uh, I experienced abuse as a child. But in life, what I've done is like now I've worked on it. I've moved past it. I put it in the past. I've changed the past to have a better future. So it doesn't affect me. So if I didn't have that abuse, I wouldn't have met my person though. And I wouldn't have changed my life, had mission, had money. Do you see what I mean? That, that, that perception was negative initially. I've changed it. So you could be thinking something like, oh, okay. This is why I suffered from abuse as my parents because I'm a twin flame. There's something, recognition that's moving this. I don't know what else to say. Ten of Earth. This is um, some of you. Uh, oh, this is your person. There's an understanding here that where he is, Ten of Earth, Ten of Pentacles is the house, the car, the da 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 da, right? What your person is connected to over there for from a belief or tradition or religion. He's recognizing that that person over there is controlling. That's what I say with that. It's like an obedient to it. Also thought that's the soulmate, but knows you're the twin flame. But um, feels that there's a, uh, most twin flames go through, not everyone, go through a soulmate who they may mistake as a twin flame. But that's the kind of stepping stone to the twin flame. There's a recognition of a reflection here. Some of you as well is the reflection is how they're taking it out. This person controlled your person, right? Who is this over there? You may know who it is. I don't need to go into. It's, uh, it could be a female, but this could be um, ex-baby's mum, person they're with or something like that, right, is controlling and obedient to it. And he's recognizing they controlled their thoughts and took it out on you. Could be something like that as well. Um but now there's a transformation of that because he, he's loving himself, him or her. The underlying factor, there's mutual love. It's hidden. It's in the subconscious. It's there. It's, in, it's like as if 
both of you have this um, love and like I said, you feel like it's in different directions, but it's you. I, it's, it's kind of different, this reading. I don't know how to say. It's kind of like... I'm, my, my family's from um, Grenada, um, West Indies, um, where Rihanna's from, right? But I've never, or well, I have been there, but, you know, when I was younger. And I'm really b brought up here. But it's me. It's within me. So this love is for be within both of you. It's just not being experienced at this moment. There's a recognition of that between both of you, something like that. Anyway, a bit different. So if this resonates, you uh Check out the playlist if you're new or um, just book me. I don't know what else to say. You need to be working on yourself more. There's changes happening massively in the world, as you know. So you need your twin flame. Our mission is to help planet Earth. I'm out. Speak to you later.